super nice sandpiper just came on trade here at Halitz. Uh, you know, I mean, I've always liked sandpipers. They've been that silent soldier at Forest River for a number of years. Um, they've represented something that's uh, a higher grade than what you typically find out there. But they're they're the quiet guy. They let their work speak for them. They don't have to tout their name too loud because you know they've done a good job here. Um, uh, inside and out, it's clean. It's in good shape. Uh, the folks. Uh, the only reason they traded it in is because they saw a Rockwood Windjammer, a Vino's camper here that the missus had always wanted. It was her dream camper, and we got them put together. So they, they got to take their dream camper home here from Halitz, and you folks get a very nice camper, uh, you know, in return, in the exchange, effectively. Um, looking at construction items real quick. We've got uh, laminated walls that are a true high gloss. You can see a reflection in them if you want. Also, notice the roof line. You see how the roof line wraps over the side wall. Where the roof meets the wall is a really high stress point. It's the number one point where you can encounter leaks in an RV. Well, they took that seam and they moved it. So the seam is not on a high stress point. So the chance of you having water failure from your roof in this is massively reduced. It's, it's something that you see in really high-end fifth wheels. It costs a dollar more to build the roof that way. It's a better product, though. Um, you might also notice it does not, you know, it's not a small looking girl. It is pretty tall. It is extra tall inside. It does have an enclosed underbelly, so it's good for extended season camping. And even just, again, like a fifth wheel, you got the big front nose cap on here. Um, power tongue jack up front, too, uh, so you don't have to, uh, you know, get tennis elbow cranking that thing. And a slide out awning topper. Um, you know, keep your investment protected here. The slide is just like your roof. It's it's another point, except the difference is your slide moves in and out and in and out. So it can, uh, uh, you know, more quickly wear with time. And lots of windows in the living room of this. Um, uh, that's that's something I like here. You can get, when you close the windows on this, it, it was definitely very, uh, you know, private, very cozy. You open the windows up and man, it was just like a whole nother world inside. It really opened up. A um, little accessory rack on the back, or pardon me, receiver hitch. Um, th this is a uh, this is a, a bolt-on variety, so good for like light duty accessories. Uh, you're not going to want to throw anything heavy back there, but you know, a couple bikes or whatever, no problem. Um, the uh, skin still really glossy. It's not chalked at all, so that tells me the folks knew how to take care of it. And they either kept it out of the sun or they kept it UV protected with proper waxes and whatnot on a yearly basis. Uh, you know, the tires, same way the tires are still shiny and looking good. Everything looks the way it's supposed to. The only, uh, you know, dirt on the outside of it is just when they towed it down here to trade it in today. And a wider entry door, too. So if you're outside cooking up a storm and you got a big platter full of burgers or something, you're not going to have to, you know, tip them to get in and out. A little safer and easier that way. You'll notice um, just things that a cut above from the industry standard here like actual raised panel doors you know not like a flat panel door with some trim on it to make it look that way but like real stuff that's what you'll find in here um the uh you know like you've got fifth wheel type trim and whatnot in a travel trailer it's just a flat deck fifth wheel is the easiest way i can describe this one to you guys um super slide here giving us lots and lots of room and you'll notice that from the entryway into the bathroom all the way through the kitchen it's all um linoleum um, so that you can keep this thing clean uh, easily, you know. Also, little things I noticed, that these are things I've learned to look for over the years, like these little dryer sheets. You might be wondering, why are there dryer sheets scattered all over in here? That is one of the best indicators to me that these folks knew what they were doing. Because dryer sheets do the same thing as mothballs in that they keep critters out of your camper, but they don't leave your camper smelling like grandma's attic. They keep everything fresh. Um, we've got a freestanding table here. So again, it, this is designed for couples use, uh, and most of the time, you're you know this is far more convenient for couples. You also notice nicer things like the windows here are jealousy, so you can open them in the uh, in the rain. And again, you know we've just got windows all over the place in this living space here. We are not even in the kitchen, and that's that's something uh, you know windows and lights are expensive. Manufacturers can save a lot of money quickly by not putting windows in, but what a difference it makes you know even on a dreary overcast day it's nice and bright and pretty pretty cool in here you know uh hide a bed sofa here so if we do have guests they do have a place to sleep for the night you know grandkids um you know cousins brothers whatever um classic rear living slash entertainment we got a couple swivel chairs here um, room for a traditional or flat screen tv as tends to be the case today this was built really just before the uh the flat screen um, revolution of the RV industry took place. 
Um, there's also a nice little easy selector switch there, so you can uh, adjust your speakers to play inside or outside or both. And again, little indicators I look for. Uh, all the doors uh, overhead have their own little struts to keep them open. And because the camper is taller, you can, you can afford to have both a taller slide out as well as um, taller uh, uh, or more storage above things without losing window space. They didn't have to steal from uh, one. They didn't have to rob Peter to pay Paul. Um, <clears throat> the, uh, you know, all your upholsteries and fabrics just in dynamite shape still. I mean, I can see that somebody sat on it, but it is nothing's wore out in here. The countertops, you know, are still clean and gleaming. They took care of this. That's what you want to find in a used RV. When you're looking at a new RV, there's a lot of questions on what materials you use on construction and whatnot. Uh, when you're looking at a used one, the biggest thing is, did they take care of it? And in this case, yeah, they absolutely did. Look at that, little niceties. Uh, you know, like the residential lights above the kitchen here. All of your cabinetry is in great shape. I don't see anywhere where cabinet doors are splitting. And you can even be very violent with this thing, and it's still in, you know, top shape. Good drawer space here as well, and uh, that's something that not every camper seems to have with a rear living room. Is a good place to keep your forks and spoons and knives and all that. Of course, we have central air and heat. This is designed to keep you very comfortable, and you know your spring, summer, fall, and extending through. And if you know you listen, we've got real wood stuff going on. We we don't have the uh, the cheaper materials. Oh wow, look at that bigger refrigerator. When this was built, bigger refrigerators like this today are far more common. Still not standard, but far more common. But when this RV was built, that was not. The 8 cubic fridge was not very common. Um, what the, uh, the bathroom here, a couple things I like about it. If you do have guests, we can get to it easily from the, the living space or the bedroom. Everyone has their own access point to the bathroom without disturbing one another. Um, so you can, you can maintain privacy. Everyone has their own private space. Also, walk in the door. There you go. Bathroom's right there. You don't have to go traipsing through the whole camper and tracking dirt everywhere. And we've talked about how the linoleum makes keeping that clean easier. Um, bigger sink, too. You can actually get your hands in here and wash the sink with a very generous medicine cabinet. Um, medicine cabinets aren't a fun thing to talk about, necessarily. But name one thing you're going to use every morning and every night. Medicine cabinet's one of those things. You know, you need one. You just do. Uh, bigger uh, fan here in the bathroom as well so you can get superior airflow and they did leave the bedroom door slotted up top they left some room up here so if you leave your bedroom windows open you can get some good airflow and remember with the taller camper we do have a taller shower you can actually stand in if you're a big tall goofball like me uh, I stress the goofball <laughs> oh that's nice little decorative uh, wall fixture there um, the bedroom is simple but effective it doesn't need to be more than it is, and I do like that that headboard thing they got going on there. Wardrobes on both sides, and I like how they left these pockets open. I actually like that they brought this beam all the way down. Um, one of the things that uh, I've experienced personally uh, when I go camping, as well as something I've heard reported from a lot of customers, is the cabinets that stop about halfway, that, that point that sticks out on the end, Again, I'm a klutz. I can find a way to, to stab my shoulder into that thing. Um, so uh, it, it's nice to have it so that I can't right there. The um, uh, storage space right here, you know, you can easily get into it. Uh, uh, you know, if you, you've got outlets in here and whatnot, so you can keep your CPAP machines tucked away, your alarm clocks, all that good stuff. Um, also, nice little entertainment slash additional storage space over here in the corner. Big walk-around space here, too. The bedroom has a lot of floor space. Um, you don't... Uh, and this is something else I look at. I look down in the vents. They're clean. People don't tend to clean their vents. And uh, a person who keeps a clean camper won't let dirt get in there. A person who keeps a dirty camper won't clean in there. So that's a, that's another one of those... It's, it's, a, it's a guide. It's not a Bible. It's, you know, it's an estimation, not a rule. So give us a call. 800 256 5196, Haylet RV of Coldwater, Michigan. Trades, financing, pieces, parts, um, everything. You know, if you don't, ha if you like this camper but you don't have a vehicle to tow it, we do cars and trucks too. We do everything. Um, take care, stay safe, happy camping, everybody.